I'm Kristen. I'm a real squirrel. So we're going to a bins that I've never been to before. I'm really excited about this. I've been to uh, probably almost 20 different bins locations and this one is a new one for me. So this is in Rogers, Arkansas and let's go see what they've got. Okay, come on. Muggy. But I'm still having fun. So make sure that you hit that like, hit that subscribe, help me out, and um, just keep digging.
feels good to be outside, guys. It was hot in there. I'm like all flushed and stuff, but I did have a good time. I found some really great things. I, I'm gonna be honest, I was a little surprised. I didn't think that I would find some of the cool things that I found. I got a pair of corral boots that are just fabulous. But, did you see that horn? So that cost me a little less than $10. A little less than ten dollars that's not bad so um, I haven't run the comps on it but my gut has always been that when you see instruments in the case get them so we'll see what happens got a book for the babies and ball for my baby my dog um, you've seen him he's my uh, merchandise inspector and I'm sure he'll have a good time going through this stuff too so that was Arkansas. That was Rogers, Arkansas. Um, again, always have a good time. Always find some great stuff. And um, let's go see what, uh, let's go do a haul. Let's see exactly what I got, okay? So that was uh, Arkansas, which was so neat to go visit. Um, I'll be honest, it is one of the states that I'd never even been to before. So it was cool to knock that one off my list. So not only had I never been to the state before, of course I hadn't been to those bins before, and I really enjoyed it. They were so nice. Um, they didn't mind me filming, which was even better, but I found some great stuff, which really surprised me. I um, really found some things that I, <laughs> I could have spent more time there. I really could, and I hope I get to go back. That place was cool. Um, smaller, it felt smaller, but it was probably about the same size as Nashville or um, Jacksonville. It was or Reno. They weren't that. It, it wasn't. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't crazy busy, and there was a lot of really nice people there. So it was so hot, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it was 92 that day, and I was there in the middle of the heat and they didn't have the air on the window the doors were open and it was really hot but still worth going and i'm glad i got to go i also i got to meet this little one oh, my heart ah oh, such a sweet little one so that was my biggest reason for going and <laughs> lots of good things came out of that trip so let me show you what i did find um, and what i'm going to get listed on my ebay I never know what to do with my glasses. I'll just put them on. How's that? There, now I don't lose them. <laughs> okay, first I wanna start off with this because I thought I scored big and I want you to see that we make mistakes. Sometimes we pick up stuff and we're like, why did I pick that up? So I thought that this was something else and at the time I was like, whoa, whoa. Um, no, it's not. So this one is probably gonna get donated back. Um, but I did want you to see that I pick up stuff all the time that I think why did I do that? This is one of them because um, It's not on trend <laughs> It's really ugly um, And it's and it's not a brand that I probably could get a whole lot of money for so I'm donating this one back <laughs> but I wanted you to see that <sighs> I make mistakes a lot <laughs> Okay, but what did I find that I really am excited about? First thing I wanna show you is this. I feel like I should know what this is. It didn't weigh very much. I was kind of, um, I thought it was a Grateful Dead bear at first, but I'm not sure with the mad face. So if you have any idea about this guy, and I feel like I should know it, but would you put it in the comments? Let me know who this guy is. Um, I thought it was just something that I will probably go ahead and list anyway. Obviously it's a Halloween type item, but um, if you could give me some information on this, this would be great. Maybe this is another one of those mistakes that I've made, <laughs> but I have it. So I'm going to try to get it moved. Um, tell me what you know about it. Okay. I'm pretty excited about this. So this is a big coat. I would call this like a recess coat because it's long and it covers your whole body. Um, it is lined with fleece, um, but it's also insulated. It's a Land's End, it's a 2X. Um, it's a great color, it's in very good condition. And I think that this one could go for some good money. So let me show you what some of the comps look like. I'm happy about it. So I will go ahead and get it listed, even though we are, you know, into early summer. 
and I know that there aren't gonna be a whole lot of places where this is gonna be a necessary item at this time, but I wanna make sure that it is online for when people are thinking about when they need these winter coats. This winter coat is a really nice length and weight, and it's great for people that are really gonna be doing some um, outdoor activities. Okay, so another, I did get, I got a lot of winter stuff, I guess. Well, I don't care. Um, I love this. How amazing is that print? And it's um, a Ralph Lauren. So, oh man, I think I'm probably gonna put this on for between 60 and $80. It's an extra large, which is also a fabulous size. Um, and I like the shape of it. I'm glad it's a Ralph Lauren and I love this print. It's got like a, such a Pendleton vibe to it. So anyway, very happy about this. And it doesn't weigh a whole lot. I mean, it probably weighs mm, a pound and a half, but still really cool and it'll fit in a flat rate envelope pretty easily. You saw me pick up this Moo Moo. Show me your Moo Moo. I threw it back, I picked it up, I threw it back, I picked it up. Um, you know, Show Me Your Moo Moo is kind of all over the place. It's not very, um, it's not always very like reliable for me. I don't know if I'm gonna get $15 for it or $150 for it. Uh, it does have a little bit of cleanup that I'm gonna have to do on the bottoms. Somebody did wear it, um, but I don't see any rips, tears, holes, flaws, things like that other than it needs to be washed but I like the color. I think this color is pretty on trend right now. Um, and you know, we're doing a whole lot more with the weddings and stuff. So this is an extra small, um, great, like, um, oh, look at that. Oh, a little bit of a rip right there. Oh, <laughs> okay, well. I'm still gonna get it washed. I'm still gonna note those to make sure that everybody um, is aware of those things. I'm just gonna hope that they read the description, but uh, I'm still gonna get it washed. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna run it through the, the washer, the washing machine. So they're all over the place. It could be 15, could be 150. Probably not 150 with these flaws, but I still like the color. I still like the print. Okay, this is one of the first things I picked up. Really cool, right? Tory Burch, cute little sweater. Um, it's in nice condition too. I really did look this one over because because I was pretty excited to find it. Let's see. It says it is. It says it's 100% merino wool. It feels like cotton though. It's so soft. So anyway, Tory Burch, sweet little cardigan sweater. Ah, oh, I think it's adorable. All right, I really am gonna do some research on these because I mean. Gucci, I always question whenever I find anything of um, luxury, a luxury brand in the bins. I mean, it happens, I find luxury in the bins. Um, but I feel like this is something that I really do need to get checked out. <laughs> it says Gucci on them, it says Gucci on the bottoms, um, the logos say Gucci on them. I'm sure that there is um, a YouTube video out there somewhere that I can watch so that I can get a better feel of whether or not these are actually legit. Um, again, it happens. I find I, I find good things in the bins all the time, but I, I really wanna make sure that this is correct, these are accurate, these are real, before I even get anything listed because I don't wanna put anything out there that's not real, that's, that's, that's fake. So I have a few other things that I'm gonna give you updates on and from, let you know whether or not they were authentic or not authentic. So I'll be coming out with a video about that soon. So I will include these in that video and let you know if these things are like legit or not. Um, because wouldn't it be cool if they were? <laughs> um, I'll let you know later, okay? These cowboy boots, mm -hmm. I do love these. Okay, so these are, are a corral. Uh, yeah, a corral. They call them the vintage series. So it looks it looks like it's peeling, but it's not. This is how it was made. So the heels on them are great. The soles on them are pretty good. I can't remember what size these are. A 6M. So they're a smaller size, but still, oh, I put these little foamy things in them to keep their shape. 
I still think that they're going to be, even though they're a smaller size, I still think that they, I mean, $150 is not out of the realm of possibilities whenever you're talking about good quality cowboy boots, especially a brand like Corral. I like it that they're black and cowboy boots are so hot right now. So pretty excited about this. Even the girl that checked me out was like, mm, good find on those boots. I know, right? <laughs> But the thing that I am the most excited about and I couldn't wait to show you, this was in the clothing bins. Why? I don't know. Apparently somebody else has already looked at it and maybe threw it back. Didn't know uh, what to do with it. I don't know. But um, Mr. Squirrel and I were already playing with it a little bit. It does need polished. It says that it is a Bundy. Um, and this one... I'm not sure if this one was made in the U.S. or if it was made in France because they were made in both places. But um, it's got the mouthpiece. It has all the parts for it, which again, surprised me, but... <laughs> I did not play um, the trumpet in band. <laughs> I played the French horn for about five weeks in fifth grade, so I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this. So this is, uh, these are some of the things that I picked up while I was at the bins in Arkansas. I love it that it has this case with it and everything too, but these things can bring, you know, a hundred dollars or more if it's the right brand. I haven't done a lot of research on it yet, but I knew that I was going to, I was going to get it because I only had to pay $9 and 46 cents, I think for it. So less than $10 and I'm sure that I'm going to be able to get my money back on those, on this. So anyway. That's what I found whenever I was in Arkansas. What a cool state. It's really pretty there. Um, I would definitely go back. I'm looking forward to it. And um, if you're in the area, please let me know. That would be fun to catch up with somebody that's there and be able to do the thrift challenge with them. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you guys checking out the, the bins location that I went to this time. And, you know, if you haven't seen some of the other bins locations that I've been to, because I've been to a lot of them, I've been to a lot of bins, <laughs> you can find those videos in my channel description and check out some of the other places that I've been. If you would please subscribe, please give this video a like. It really does help my algorithms and it puts it out there so that other people can find it as well. I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. I will see you guys next time. I'll see you in the bins.